would like to think that this is vegetable. No, we will taste a little bit of East Africa. Specifically, Ethiopian food. Okay, we're actually gonna check out a street food truck and a restaurant. It's so gonna get the best of both worlds here. Let's go. We got sambusa. Sambusa is similar to samosa. You know, many cultures have it, but it's the Ethiopian version. So much spices in this lento sambusa. Wow. Get a little awazi sauce. It's already got so much flavor on its own, but we love the awazi sauce. So we're just gonna take a dip of that. Mm. Wow. This the awazi really takes it to the next level. But even on its own, it's so good. A lot of spice in here. Now we got a beef sambusa. Let's give this one a go. Mmm, full of flavor right here. Not too thick, not too flaky even. It's just really well flavored. It's nice to go with your meal. We're waiting on our meal, can't wait to get it. We're gonna eat it with our hands too. We're gonna keep it very traditional. Even though we're on the street, street food truck, they give us forks, but we also got the little wet wipes. All right, so one of our favorite food trucks here. Look at this meal. We have a combo here. We have, we definitely got the base of vinjeta, the traditional Ethiopian bread that's made. It's kind of a sourdough, spongy bread. So we got chicken tibs. We got misa, it's a uh, red lentil stew. Then we have gomen. It is a collard green stew. It's so good, ready to dig in. Oh God, it's, the, the jar is so moist. Huh. Mm. Let's unroll a piece of this injera, piece of chicken tibs. It's also drizzled in the awaze sauce. Let's take a bite. Mm. It is super juicy, tender, flavorful. And you get that nice sourdough tank from the injera. Oh man, then that wasi sauce comes in and gives a little smoky, spicy flavor. It is delicious. Now let's give the misad a try. Oh yeah. Oh, there's a whole layer at the bottom too. Here is the misad right here. Let's take a bite. What is it? Mmm. Wow. You can really taste that Burberry spice in there. You can definitely taste some cardamom. Really nice. Like uh, You can see the whole chunks of lentils. Very flavorful. This is this was the great thing about this truck too is you can get if you're a vegetarian you can get an entire vegetarian plate too but we love our meats so we got the meats today now the golden mm. pleasant bitterness of the collard greens but it still has a nice tangy flavor in there as well then we wrap it up with that injera you get that nice sourdough flavor too man this is an awesome plate very lucky to have them here in the city we have Eden here from Makina. Cafe, <laughs> the only Eritrean Ethiopian food truck in New York City. Yes, and some of my favorite people over here. <laughs> I'm so excited! You guys have been a fan since day one. Thank you. So this is this Thank is you super for special. This is not just a regular customer, right? <laughs> this is past that, and we're excited for your new uh, ventures. Excited, we're gonna have two trucks um, starting next week. So I'm Yay. excited. Oh, congrats! Yay. Big deal. Yeah. We're here in Harlem in our favorite Ethiopian restaurant, Abyssinia. We got this whole plate. You say this is a plate, but. Uh. All right. So this is something we love about Ethiopian food is you get a beautiful presentation. As you notice, there's no utensils on this table. The utensils, right here in our hands. So we got a nice combo here. We got a mix of veggies and meats. So we have the uh, dorawa, it's a spicy chicken stew. So we got the nice chicken leg here, the stewed in Burberry spice, which is the, like we mentioned before, the essential spice, Ethiopian cooking. It's a really good flavor. So look some onion in here and a whole boiled egg. Okay, we got a lamb stew here, we got beef stew, both more mild, they have turmeric. And then we also have a spicy beef stew here. And then we have the collard greens, 
We have spicy red lentils. We got split pea. It's yellow, looks like it's in turmeric. And we also have a mix of cabbage, uh, potato, and carrots. And then we also got something special outside of the combo, which is kitfo. Kitfo is really one of the unique dishes. If you love tartare, it's raw beef with chili and butter. Oh, ready to go. We got all this lovely injera. It's made with the teff grain, so that's what makes it really special. That lovely, tangy flatbread. Let's dig in. Can't talk about it anymore. Let's eat. Scoop all that. Oopsie. I think the first dish we gotta dig into here and talk about is the kitfo. The kitfo is here is that raw beef. Let's scoop some up the injera. Let's take a bite. Mm. Wow, the first thing you taste there is that butter. Then that little chili comes in afterward. You taste a little uh, cardamom in there from the spice. Oh, it's good. It's very dynamic. So you get the spicy, you get the buttery, and the texture is very smooth because the lean beef, really tasty. Definitely you should try it. It's one of the most unique dishes you will try here. Let's dig into, let's try the lamb. Mm. And yeah, the lamb is very tender. It's uh, marinated in some turmeric, so you get a little that flavor. It's very juicy. And it was nice that when you scoop it up with that injera, you get that wonderful sourdough flavor to complement it. It's so good. And yeah, we got the dorawat, the, the chicken. I love they give you the whole chicken leg. You know, that's, we always love the dark meat. Let's take a look at that. It's drenched in this sauce, this Burberry sauce. Mmm. Oh, that's excellent. A beautiful thing, you have that layer of injera on the bottom on top of the plate here, so it's soaking up all those sauces. So that's the good stuff right there. So it's spongy, so it's absorbing every little bit of it. Mmm. Oh, it's killer. You taste all that Burberry spice. There's chopped up onions in here too. Oh, so many flavors in this cuisine. We love it. <laughs> 